my guy Kyrie was talking about the cybersecurity boot camps at colleges. You know those cybersecurity certificate programs that universities are providing? In my opinion, these are the same things as doing a boot camp with like any social media cybersecurity creator that has a boot camp. The only difference is this boot camp, you're getting the name of whatever university you're doing the boot camp through. And you get a certificate of completion. Now, boot camps are not bad. Boot camps are a way to structure information so that you can learn the skills that you need in order to have the capabilities to perform within a specific industry, in this case, cybersecurity. But what I'm trying to tell people is that education and career acquisition are two different things. And the biggest problem that I see when I do my consultations with people is that they think that because they have a bachelor's degree or because they did a boot camp or because they have XYZ certification or because they have a master's degree, that that automatically qualifies them to have a job. And the mentality aspect to this problem is that people think that it's a linear process. People think, okay, education and then job. But the thing is, you need to start viewing your career acquisition process as a business. What does every business need to make money? Marketing and sales. I can be the most knowledgeable plumber on the East Coast of the United States. I can read every book about plumbing, uh, how to insulate plumbing, different types of pipes, different materials that are used for different types of pipes for different use cases. But if I don't get in front of the right people, in the right way at the right time and say the right things, my plumbing business will never get off the ground. I can know that I'm a really good plumber, but if I don't position myself in the market as a really good plumber, how are other people supposed to know? I think one of the other big problems that I'm seeing right now is certification stacking, like just for the sake of having certification. Again, certifications aren't a bad thing they're just a piece of paper that says this person has been exposed to this information. And that's the same thing with a college degree. A college degree is a piece of paper that says this person has been exposed to this information and they have been tested on this information. But the career acquisition process is, okay, how can I take the information that I've been exposed to and tested on and apply that to a business in a way that is going to be valuable for that business? That is a separate process. And that's the process that schools, boot camps, and these other programs aren't going to teach you about. This is why my cybersecurity career coaching isn't based on teaching you cybersecurity. I can send you over to Professor Messer to learn cybersecurity. If you want to learn cybersecurity, go and do a four-year degree in cybersecurity or computer science, or go and take your Security Plus certification, or your CYSA Plus, or like there's free ways and other ways to learn cybersecurity, but the problem isn't a lack of educational resources. The problem is people don't know how to take those educational resources and apply them in a way that's actually going to seal the deal in terms of getting them a job. He ate and left. Uh, he crumbs. always like, Sprinkles. I got to text them too, because he's supposed to come in person. Like, I got to text them. But nah, he's, he said a lot. Cause I remember 2021, SMU started having their cybersecurity boot camp and they was looking for teachers. And I talked to them briefly about that. Uh, and he, so he, he's right about that. Like the only difference is um, one is latching on to a, you know, a college, but it's technically a different boot camp. Just because they I got agree. a good program don't mean they're going to have a good boot camp either. True. Like, let's start and end there. You might be True. good at the program. SMU has a good cyber program, but. I can't speak to that boot camp. Doesn't necessarily mean that the boot camp is going to be the same vibes. No, I agree. And like you said, he's right. I tell people all the time in my consults, learning the skills, all this information is the easiest part. Now, the hardest part is going to be you, the job search process, selling yourself and, and getting the offer. That's going to be harder than that. Because like he said, I could send you to do security blue team or Josh Matacor's course or Google Cybersecurity certification, 
or certificate, whatever you want to call it. I can see you to go do all those things too. That's that's easy because I know just go do that. The hard part is taking the skills you learn, stringing them together, making the person that you're interviewing with believe you believe in you enough to hire you and give you a job. That's the hard part. So he he's right. That's why when you do the search and degrees thing, it depends on who you ask. Like certain companies say, hey, you need this. Certain companies say you don't need this. And I run into where I got clients, but they are having issues because they ain't got the degree. Like they got the experience, but they didn't get the degree. So I'm like, if you got the experience now, go ahead and just do WGU because you can finish it in like two months. That's the part people that leave out about WGU. It's like any school you can finish that fast is is literally just for a checkbox. Like call a spade a spade. But yeah, so in the, to piggyback on boot camps, like the only thing you want to look for is like, okay, based on what they're teaching me, does it line up with the jobs that I eventually want to land? Because sometimes these boot camps are just teaching some stuff that you can find already in Sec Plus and act like they're teaching you something and it's really not. And so when I started looking at the stuff you did there, I was like, bro, like I ran into, I did a consult with a young lady. Somebody told me about her. No, she said somebody told her about me at like, I guess Mixer Cloud or something. She can remember that name. And we was talking about, she did this GRC bootcamp. Uh, I'm not going to say the name just because I don't even know if they still in business. I haven't seen them in a while, their name and business in a while. But anyway, I looked at the resume. I said, oh, I see the play. They took some senior level stuff, change, change, like left your job the same, but changed it and threw that stuff on there. And she was like, I'm not getting interviews. I don't understand this stuff. We really feel like we, you know, wasted our money because what they promised is kind of like not what we got out of it, which is, you know, it sucks in, in general. So I had to kind of direct her to resources first and then show her like, hey, well, this is how you could... This, if this is a job you want to look, this is how you find these jobs. This is how you find the people that work at the companies. This is how you do this, how you do this. Like, you know, just simple stuff that they aren't, like you said, they aren't showing you. They're not showing you how to get to the career part, and which I think this was like, there should be an added course in there. Hmm. I might pitch that to, to I just, LA Tech. Hey, I can, I can successfully help all these people. Let me pitch this course to you. I got a master's. I ain't got my doctor. I should be able to teach your students. <laughs> no, for sure. You don't even have to have a. a... Uh, what's the name? I just did a video about if you should drop out of that cybersecurity boot camp. And I feel like what we're talking about, these are all things that you need to consider before you do the boot camp. Like you need to sit mm -hmm. down and think about what am I gaining? How much is this costing me? How much of my time am I sacrificing? What is the end goal? What are the people that have graduated from this boot camp? What are they doing? Where are they what landing are the jobs? Exactly. What resources are they? This boot camp, a lot of the times they'll be like, we'll help you with your resume. But if you're not putting that pressure on them to actually help you, if they're not helping you, then you're not getting, you know, your investment in terms of what it is that you pay for. So that's a good video to check out for sure. 